Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. My name's Todd. And I'm Jackie. And today we're going to show you how to make some awesome crab cakes using the Dungeness crab that we caught last week while we were over at Tillamook Bay, Oregon. And here's some of the ingredients that you're going to need. You will need one fourth cup of green onion, and you will need four tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley, and this is panko breadcrumb. You're going to need one and a half cups of that. You're going to need two cups of crab meat. You want to make sure you go through it and shred it, and there's no shells or nothing in there. And in this bowl, we whisk together um, two thirds cup mayo two large eggs, four tablespoons of Dijon mustard, four teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of hot sauce, and we whisked it all together and we're going to add in some Old Bay seasoning. You just add in the amount you like, do a taste test and see how you like it. Uh, we like ours kind of spicy. So probably put in about a half to three quarters of a teaspoon. And we just whisk it all together. Just like that. And that's it. You kind of set aside. Then you take your crab meat. You put it in there. You take your bread, your panko breadcrumb. And you put it in there. And you're going to put in your onion and your parsley. Make sure you get it all in there. Okay. Great. Then you're just going to fold it all in together like this. Folding in the crab meat into the panko breadcrumb. And once you get that dry mix all together with the crab, you're going to add in the rest of the ingredients. Okay. And you just keep folding it in until it's all mixed together. see how it looks like a mixture it's kind of stiff and you want it to be because you want to you're going to make cakes out of it now if the, if the mixture isn't stiff enough for you go ahead and add some more panko looks like we're pretty close but you're going to have to make patties out of them and uh, you want them to stick together well so don't let it be too wet make sure that you've got it kind of tight and dry and panko will help you do that when you need to add some. Okay. There you go, just like that. Then you're going to take your... and put some wax paper on the cutting board. Roll your sleeves up a little bit and you're just going to take about a handful about the palm of your hand like that. You're going to kind of make a little ball and then you're just going to kind of flatten it just like that. And then you just set it on your thing. So I just keep going around and taking a handfuls like this and then you just flatten it. That's it.
after you get all your uh, patties made and you have them on this wax paper you just want to stick them in the refrigerator for about an hour and uh, let them chill it'll it'll harden them up and it'll make them a lot easier to handle while you're uh, frying them in the oil otherwise they're gonna fall apart in the pan and uh, that's not gonna be good so after she's done making all these we're gonna throw them in the fridge and uh, give it an hour and then we will show you how to cook them up we'll be back okay we've pulled our crab cakes out of the refrigerator they've been in there getting nice and chilled and tightening them up a little bit we've got our skillet on the stove um, put about a just fill the bottom of the pan with oil uh, we use canola oil um, you're gonna want to just put about an eighth of an inch in there not not very much just enough to coat the bottom um, you're gonna cook these on medium high heat for about five minutes per side and that's all you're gonna need to finish these off so we'll drop a couple in there and see how we do Ooh, oil's hot So we'll let them cook for five minutes on each side. I recommend getting a fish spatula. These work really good for flipping them over. Um, what you're gonna look for when you go to turn them over is just a light crispy brown color on each side. And uh, hopefully these are good and tasty. Mm -hmm. You can start to see how it starts to get a little crispy around the edges. That's about when you're going to want to flip it. Just a couple more minutes. And then we're going to check it. Yep, looks good. And you flip it gently. <laughs> gently, so you try, not to, you try not to splatter the... Got it. There we go. Try not to splatter the grease. No way. Turn it down. Oil might be a little hot. It's going on about medium heat. You can have your crab cakes with a salad, or we like to cook them with french fries, or you can have them with macaroni and cheese, or potatoes, rice and a vegetable, however you like your crab cakes. Or you can just eat them by themselves. All right, everybody. Uh, we're done cooking the crab cakes. There they are. Nice and golden brown. Mm, delicious. They look delicious. We're going to take a taste test right now. I'm going to put a little lemon on there. Okay, hit them with some lemon. Okay, we're going to squirt a little lemon on them like that. Just take a little lemon. Mm-hmm. There you go. Give it a try. You go ahead. Okay. Give mm, it a try. Yummy. I like to dip my fork in the sauce, in the, in the tartar sauce, and then delicious thanks for mm. joining our channel today mm. and uh hope you like the recipe very good give us some feedback let us know how yours turned out and uh please like and subscribe our channel have see a, you next time have a great day